Hey there guys, what's up? It's your buddy Mike Appearing here and I hope you have a great day because for today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to build this compact iron farm design which will work on Minecraft 1.14 and currently, I built this in pre-release 5 and soon enough, in 2 days, uh, we are going to have the full release which is set on April 23rd of 2019. Well, so I'm also excited about it. So uh, this iron farm is very compact in design, which is uh, only 14 by 14 by 9. And uh, it's cheap and it's very easy to build. So this can be like your starter or even long-term iron farm in your survival game. And this can produce up to uh, 100 plus irons per hour. But depending on the gossip level in your village and we will not also use uh, lava in order to kill the iron golems, but instead we are going to kill them through block suffocation. And this um, design has 40 villagers in it, uh, which can spawn up to 8 iron golems per day in game. Aside from that, uh, this can also be expandable if you want to make more irons, but of course, it will require more space and villagers and of course, resources, right? <laughs> well, so let's try to go inside um on ex uh, spectator mode to see what's inside this farm so basically uh well on the side we got the living quarters for the villagers take note that in order for this farm to work the villagers must go all through the day cycle from morning gossip session which is uh, from zero to uh 2000 daytime ticks and they should be able to work from 2000 to uh 9000 so basically they should uh be able to work or at least go near to their working items well we have 10 working items but for this farm uh we use composters because this is uh the cheapest right <laughs> the cheapest to make and aside from the composters we also have the lecterns the cartographer tables uh the cauldrons uh, brewing stand uh loom grindstone uh stone cutters um a blast furnace and smoker okay those are the 10 working items that you can actually use but it doesn't matter because uh, i mean if you're planning for trading with these villagers you can actually use uh you know those other items but since uh, we're only planning for iron farm so we only gonna use the cheapest one which is the composters right and also after the working hours they also need to gossip again in the afternoon which is from 9,000 to 12,000 daytime ticks. Uh, well, they gossip a lot, right? But of course, that's our requirement in order for us to spawn the iron golem. So those are very necessary. And you must be at least near in this location. So at least they will, uh, you know, precisely work uh, accordingly, right? Um, then, of course, on the nighttime from 12,000 to 24,000, uh, you can already skip that. You can also sleep uh, if you want. You can sleep beside their bed so basically that's up to you and of course uh, on the mid section here uh, this is the spawning platform currently we have the zombie here at least from the start uh, we should have a zombie at least one or two uh, you can grab them from somewhere else or you can actually spawn uh, the zombies inside here but of course take note that if you're going to use the night time in order to spawn the zombies inside here uh, of course uh, some other hostile mobs can also spawn like uh, the creepers of course you don't want the creepers to spawn here but it's up to you it's up to you on how you will put the zombie inside this center so basically uh, the requirement is at least on the start and eventually the iron golems may uh, kill them in the process so basically uh, of course, the Iron Golem also hates the zombies, right? But of course, instantly, uh, like I said, uh, we are going to kill them with the um, Black Suffocation. So right after they spawn, they will actually be killed. So basically, that's the mechanics, which is also good, right? It makes these Iron Farm more efficient, right? Well, of course, uh, I think lastly, of course, uh, below this is the minecart hoppers that will collect all of the drops uh, and the basic storage. So in order for you to collect all of the drops from your iron golems right so i think those are the mechanics that i need to discuss before we try to build this so well let's get it done and let's try to build this right and let's start doing this so the first thing that you need to consider in making two or more iron farms is to separate them uh, 50 blocks away from each other so the village mechanics will not mix up and secondly well the platform or the spotting platform should be four blocks high away from the ground so the iron golem will not spawn beneath your platform and as well as uh there should be 
No uh, other spawnable blocks on the sides uh, near your iron farm, at least 15 blocks away from the center. So the iron golems will not spawn outside your spawning platform. So those are the, some of the other prerequisites aside from what I mentioned in the intro. So let's make a basic storage system right over here. Well, you can actually also use an item sorting system on this one, or maybe you can also connect, you can connect this to your box storage system if you're planning to do that. And of course, uh, we are going to connect this with some hoppers and let's add another hopper right over here. So at least the minecart hopper will um, easily drop those items it collected, right? So the next thing that we have to do is to make a six by six platform since we're planning for a six by six um spawning platform on top of this so basically what we're doing now is the platform for our railing system for our minecart hopper so basically it should have the same area as what you are planning to have for your spawning platform so it, so it will cover all of those uh blocks uh, where the items will be dropped so let's place some redstone blocks on this part so at least we can place some power drills in order for the minecart hoppers to go around continuously so like i said well uh, this can be expandable so actually my advice if you're going to uh, uh to expand this make it oops uh, let's remove that make it on even numbers on the sides so at least you can have the same layout because if you're going to have an odd number or odd number of blocks on the side it will have a different layout but that's for you to you know <laughs> to figure out but anyway so let's connect this so the mycard hopper should go around continuously well that direction well it doesn't really matter on what direction this minecart hopper will go so for as long as it can it can continuously go around it will work pretty fine right so well the next thing that we have to do is of course the spawning platform so like i said the spawning platform has to have the same area as what you have for these minecart hoppers so at least it can cover all of the areas where the, uh, the where the item or where the dropped items will be dropped <laughs> from those iron columns so basically let's just fill this up so um well uh, aside from this of course uh, we also need to add a uh, block for the walls but it's getting night time let's <laughs> i forgot to turn off the day uh, the daylight cycle so let's turn this off so do daylight cycle let's just choose that uh, false okay well just uh, for us not to be interrupted right okay so let's add more uh more blocks on this side so aside from uh six by six it has to be eight by eight so at least we can add the walls on the side so at least we can guard all of those drop items and as well as the the iron golems will not be pushed on the side and as well as to keep the the villagers separated from the iron golems and as well as of course uh about the zombie right we don't want the zombie and the villagers to be mixed up in one place right so they have to be separated and yes so uh, on this side we have to have one gap for the bell so let's make a gap over here okay uh that's where we are going to place a bell of course the bell is also necessary for our village for them to mark as a village well not actually totally you know i mean prerequisite but of course we need them to gossip because this bell right over here marks as the gossip place for those villagers and as well as if you're going to have a kiddie zombie or a baby zombie inside your uh spawning platform of course uh, we want the trapdoor so at least the baby zombie will not go on the living quarters of your villagers so well uh, the next thing that we're doing is actually the temporary blocks for the beds uh, this is only should be temporary we have to remove this after we have placed the beds uh, the reason why is that the iron golems can actually spawn on top of these blocks even though there the, we have some beds on top of it so because uh, we're trying to force the what you call this we're trying to force the iron golems to spawn in the center so uh basically i think this is one of the spawnable places where they can spawn so basically after placing all of the beds we have to remove this and yes so let's get some beds so the color doesn't matter so well <laughs> so like i said on this layout uh, we have 40 villagers so but definitely we are going to require 40 beds for uh, not for each but 
for the entire community so one bed for each villager so basically uh, we also need to consider uh, the working items so if we have 40 beds uh, we have 40 villagers we also need 40 working uh, working items so like I said there are like 10 working items in this game but of course uh, for the sake that to make this build very cheap uh, we are going to use composters right so well i placed the block right over there so at least we can already start placing the walls so let's remove these temporary blocks uh take note that this is really important if you don't want to the iron golems to spawn in this section so well <laughs> um hmm. okay so aside from this i think another prerequisite what i also have mentioned in the intro um <clears throat> The daylight cycle, I mean, the villagers has go has to go to do their daily activities. So basically, of course, number one is sleeping and after that is also waking up. And as well as gossiping in the morning, I think they have a window for gossiping from zero ticks to 2,000 ticks. Uh, I think that's their modern gossip. And then from 2,000 to 9,000, that's the time they will go to work. And from 9,000 to 12,000, that's the time they will gossip again. So uh, now let's place the composer. So like I said, we have other um, working items, but for the sake that to make this farm very cheap, uh, of course, we are going to use this because this only requires uh, woods and fences, right? So, which is very easy to craft. And yes, so another thing that you also need to consider is that the zombie that we are going to place in the middle. Well, the purpose of that zombie, we have to give them something to panic. Well, there, there are actually two events that will increase the gossip. Number one are the zombie attacks. And second thing is the raid, which is I actually tackled in one of my episodes in iCraft. So, well, I'm also planning to do a separate tutorial video on that because it's called the multi-purpose item sorting... Uh, no. Not item sorry, uh multi-purpose iron farm so basically uh it's another design of this iron farm and we're gonna do that maybe on the next tutorial video right so the last thing that we have to place is of course this room remember that everything has to be only um two block high inside this room so basically this is already the roof and we are also going to fill the blocks in the mid section of course and this is um, will cause as well the iron golems to suffocate so remember that it has to be full blocks you cannot use half slabs and other um, maybe leaves I'm not oh yeah of course definitely leaves they will not be suffocated with leaves but I'm not sure with glasses I haven't tested it yet but yeah but just to make sure I mean stones or you can also use cobblestones if you find smooth stones very cheap of course these blocks uh these are block of your choice i mean you can also use sandstones or even other blocks so smooth stone is not actually necessary for as long as it's a full block you can actually use them for roofs and uh not for actually you can also use them for the walls i just use glasses uh, for cosmetics purpose only right <laughs> but yes so and um, as well as what else I think that's the only things that you also need to consider. Well, you can actually, alternatively, you can also do raids, but you have to kill all of the pillagers and those evokers and those stuff. Even the ravagers is really hard to kill. So the easiest way to increase the gossip level in this iron farm is through zombies. Probably you can actually grab one, because, uh, I mean, in the sides during the nighttime, I mean, in the surrounding area. Um, they will just eventually follow you and you can actually push him into a hole uh, into the center, right? So I think uh, this is done. I mean, at least for the structural part. So now I guess it's time to spawn some villagers. So basically, there's quite a few methods on spawning, I mean, on putting a villager inside this iron farm. Of course, you cannot do this in the survival mode, right? <laughs> well, you can actually at least uh, put two villagers inside this iron farm and just give them some food something like potatoes or grains or carrots and they will just breed, breed themselves uh, and, but that may also take time of course and you can also use a villager breeder if you have a villager breeder design but basically it also works the same i mean if you need 40 villagers inside this place uh definitely you only need 
40 beds, so it will be limited to that, right? And the last thing that we have to have here is a zombie. Of course, uh, well, I already explained on how to get a zombie. But anyway, so I think we just need to wait for uh, an iron golem to spawn and, well, I'll be back. Finally, we got our first iron golem in this farm and as well as I tried to spawn a baby zombie right over here and as well as we have renamed it with zombie just to test out that this is a uh, zombie proof away from those villagers right so basically this took me only a full day cycle in order to spawn this village uh, this iron golem right over here so which is not that much well actually it will be gradually increased because the gossip level will be added up uh, every day so it has to be gradual so basically of course uh, don't know why we have a zombie right over here so yeah because uh, we have passed a, a night time so well let's wait for that uh, item to be dropped so at least we can make sure that our collection system is working right so let's check it out so yeah we got a puppy and an iron and two and yeah, yeah, there you go for <laughs> So basically the drop rate for these iron golems is uh, 3 to 5 iron. So basically uh, if on max uh, we have 8 golems per day, uh, that will give us 32 irons for on an average of 4 irons. And basically if we're going to have uh, for an hour, uh, 6 days so uh, with skipping the night. So that's a total of 192 iron per hour so basically if you got questions please comment it down below so thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a comment please leave a like and make sure to subscribe this has been my and i'll see you guys next time